Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Inslee, Associate Vet at Black Horse Animal Hospital. October 7th is National Pet Obesity Awareness Day, so we wanted to bring to your attention some of the risks associated with pet obesity and a few things that you can do at home to minimize these risks. Some of the complications and other diseases associated with pet obesity include joint issues, respiratory difficulty, increased risk for overheating when outside, increased risk for anesthesia and surgery complications, heart disease, fatty liver disease for cats, diabetes, and a decrease in life expectancy. For most pets, obesity can be treated with diet and exercise alone. And while exercise is a very important portion of any weight loss program, diet oftentimes makes the biggest impact. One of the biggest factors associated with animal obesity is overfeeding. The bag of food that you buy every month has a recommendation and a starting point for how much food to feed your animal. However, this is not the answer for every animal. Spayed and neutered animals need about 20 to 25% less calories than intact animals. And those that are a little more docile and laid back probably need a little less calories than your hyperactive playful puppy. So although the back of the bag is a great starting point, it should be catered to your animal's needs. A few other recommendations to help monitor your pet's intake are to switch over to scheduled meal feedings rather than leaving the food out all day long. This allows you to monitor exactly how much food your animal's eating each day and adjust it as needed. Also, if you have multiple pets in your household, you might want to separate them during meal feeding. That way your super speedy eater doesn't finish off their food and then go eat your slower dog or cat's food right after that. Treats are also a really high calorie food option for dogs. So cutting back on the number of treats that they get each day or switching them out for healthier options such as carrots or green beans is a good way to decrease those calories that they're getting. If you've instituted these measures at home and you're not seeing the results that you like, Blood work may be necessary to make sure that they don't have an underlying condition that makes it more difficult for them to lose weight. Sometimes specific diets are also recommended for dogs and cats, such as higher fiber diets for dogs or high protein diets for cats. If you fear that your animal is overweight, call our office to schedule a body scoring assessment so that we can discuss their current condition and come up with a few possible options to help your furry friend's health.